Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey guys, it's Sita here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going to be reviewing and trying on a cosplay from Mick Costumes. I actually reached out to them and asked if they would be interested in sending me a cosplay for me to review on my channel. And they were like, heck yeah. So, here we are. I'm so excited. With Halloween coming up, I really wanted to get another cosplay because I love to cosplay, but I mainly just get like one cosplay a year because I only cosplay to go to a convention in my city. My next cosplay, I really wanted to get a Hatsune Miku cosplay because I'm a big Vocaloid fan, as you probably know, and I have my very expensive Miku doll here, and uh, I want to match with her. So I'm very excited. I haven't gotten cosplay from this brand before, but I have heard about it a lot, which is why I wanted to get a cosplay from them. Let's open it up. So I did get a wig as well as the cosplay. And yes, I did get sent these for free from Mick Costumes, but this is a completely honest review and I'm not being paid to review it. I'm so freaking excited. So we got the wig in here. Is this gonna be too big for me? I don't know, I think it's good. So what I really like about this cosplay is it's actually this really interesting uh, material that actually looks like her outfit. It already feels super high quality. I'm really impressed. It's very thick and shiny. Oh, this is the skirt. Oh my god, look at this material. This is so cool. Oh my god, look how shiny it is. I absolutely love this. I'm so excited to wear this. We got the arm sleeves, very nice. Also, it has an elastic around here, so it actually stays tight to your arms. I cosplayed as Ren once, and the arm sleeves and the leg sleeves things were just falling down constantly. And we also got socks, which I actually didn't realize it came with them. So they're kind of like boot socks. They're actually a really nice material. They're kind of like a nice stretchy material. I actually didn't even realize it came with these, so this makes me really happy. And we got the tie. We also got the little like things that go in her hair, which I also didn't realize it came with. And I think this is the little strap that goes on her skirt. Let's have a look at the wig. It's gonna be the longest wig ever. Okay, so the pigtails are separate, so you kind of clip them on, which is usually the case with a lot of wigs that have pigtails. It feels really high quality. There's a lot of hair. It feels really nice and soft. I am so excited. I probably should go get a wig cap. It's wig cap time, baby. The dogs have also joined me. What do you have to say to yourself? Okay. Ugh, okay. Okay. Anyways. They just stepped all over my wig, so let's put that up here. I'm gonna put the cosplay on, so... See you then. Okay guys, I've changed the camera angle because the lighting has changed. I'm using natural lighting today. <sighs> this took me so long to get into, and this wig needs to be cut. It's really long. I actually already cut it a bit, but it's still long, so I'm gonna have to cut it again soon. Um, so it's kind of hard to see at the moment because I can just see like a big blue blob of hair in my face. So I love this cosplay, I love how it looks, but I have a few problems. One is that this zip sucks and if I go like this, it unzips. So every time I move or like bend over, it unzips, which is not <laughs> um, very nice. Buttons would have been a better option, so I think I'm probably just going to um, sew buttons on here instead because I don't trust this zip at all. This wig is so incredibly long. I'm not used to having a wig this long, so this must be really difficult to cosplay in because I feel like it's gonna just get messy so quickly. I love the tie. It can also be adjusted. You can like loosen it or tighten it. This cosplay also fits me. Oh, it's, it's unzipping now. See if I bend over it starts to unzip. Um, but it fits me really well. I think I got a size medium and I feel like a size small might have been a little bit better because the skirt feels a little bit big on me. Oh, and also these socks like to fall down really easily. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I need to <laughs> re-zip this. Okay. So the skirt does feel a little bit loose on me, but I really like the size. It's not too short, you know. Also, this <laughs> this arm keeps falling off too. But hey, it looks cool as heck. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this arm. It's just this one that keeps falling off. Maybe I just need to pull it up a little bit higher. I'm really sorry that my camera angles aren't very good. I don't have a tripod that's big enough to show like everything at the same time. Okay, my shirt's unzipping again. This is so annoying. 
Okay. Apart from the few problems, like the zip is the main problem I have, everything else is, isn't really a big deal. I still think this cosplay is really cool. I love how accurate it looks. Everything does feel like it's very good quality. They just probably should have gone with buttons instead of a zipper over here. The wig does feel very nice and very soft. If you're gonna cosplay Miku, I feel like you just need to bring like a hairbrush and like stuff to brush your hair all the time because it's so incredibly long. And I will probably need to cut this wig more because it is quite long at the front here. It's also, these bits are very like curly. <laughs> Which I don't think they're really meant to be that curly. But hey, I really like it. I think this cosplay at the moment is about 60 US dollars. It's originally 150 US dollars, but at the moment it's really cheap, so I would definitely recommend this. But also I would recommend you probably should sew buttons on this instead, just so you don't risk it unzipping while you're cosplaying in public. But hey, maybe this is just my one. Maybe they're not all like this. I still really like it. The sizes also seem to be pretty accurate. You know, I got size medium and it is actually a size medium. A lot of the time when you buy size medium online, it will be a lot smaller. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Oh, right, also, these things. It came with these things that are supposed to go like over here. But the thing is, I can't for the life of me figure out how the hell this is supposed to go over here. I tried so many different things and I couldn't do it. These are clip off uh, pigtails. Wow, this feels really heavy on one side all of a sudden. So I guess you're supposed to put it around here, but it doesn't fit around here. So, so like, I don't, I don't know, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to check out my costumes. I have heaps of different kinds of cosplay from anime and other shows. I would definitely recommend this Hatsune Miku cosplay if you want to cosplay Miku. They do have two different types. I think they have a cheaper version, which isn't this uh, like shiny material. It's just kind of like cheap fabric. But since this is only like 60 US dollars for this costume at the moment, apart from the wig, the wig is separately. I think it's like $20. I think it's a pretty good deal. I think they often have sales on, so. Although if you're trying to get this in time for Halloween, I don't think it will come in time. But yeah, let me guys know what you think. I really can't wait to like wear this at a convention, which probably won't be until like in the middle of next year. <laughs> I'm not going to Army and Expo Auckland this year. Now I kind of wish I was going because I want to wear this cosplay out, but no, I'm not. So I'm sorry if you guys were looking forward to meeting me there. I'm definitely going to look into it next year because it is a lot better than the Crashed Armageddon, even if I was kind of pissed off at them this year for a lot of things that they did. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to follow my Instagram, yum underscore soda, if you want to see some pictures of um, me and my son. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!